Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through in great detail how to get the Chatterbox exotic submachine gun. It's basically an exotic P90. As you can see, the damage is real good over a little over 10,700 rounds per minute and a 60 round magazine. Now crafting any exotic item is going to get you the taste of the exotic trophy. So here's the stats. Uh, the talents incessant chatter. Every shot land and grabs a 1% rate of fire to a max of 60 resets on reload. You won't be reloading that often though. Box magazine kills with this weapon, refill 20% of the magazine and grants a buff for 10 seconds. While the buff is active, every shot landed increases magazine capacity up to a max of 60. Killing a target consumes the buff fully to refill the increased magazine. Now the cool one is blabbermouth while holstered, reloading your weapon within five seconds after a kill grants 20% rate of fire. So that actually works real well with my assault rifle that I use. Now, in order to get it, you have to go and get some keys. First thing you need to do is get the keys in underground areas. There's roughly about 30, 35 key boxes located underground. And the key boxes look like this. Inside these loot boxes is going to have a chance to be one of the faction keys. That was a true son's key. Unfortunately, we need hyena keys. And I personally think it's the rarest of the, the key group. There is a hyena's key right there. Now, when you open a box, you cannot reopen that box for 24 hours. It takes 24 hours to reset. Do not go into another server, another player's game, and open their box once yours are completely open. Because if you open one on their server, you will get nothing as a reward, and it'll reset the 24-hour timer. So do not open any boxes on any other servers. So I'm going to show you the locations kind of... Uh, where these boxes are located, not individually, but just how many in each area. Just go to the underground areas, just kind of run around. It's not that complicated. Look for the white box, and hopefully you'll get enough keys. Hyena keys is what you're looking for. Let's go ahead and open this one here. Now I'm going to just show you a map kind of of all the areas here. So we're going to start off on the far west side of the map. If you go to this tunnel system, on the far left side, there are five keys between that point. Uh, West Potomac Park, you'll find three key boxes there. And then you'll find seven in that area. So again, it's very important that you try to open as many of these as you can, get hyena keys, and that you don't go into another server and open boxes because it'll just be empty and reset the 24 hour timer. Now, once you get enough keys, how many keys are you going to need? Well, you're going to need between maybe four if you're lucky, but maybe up to 12 hyena keys. So you might not get enough hyena keys your first time through the map here. You may have to come back 24 hours later, which kind of stinks. There's a whole lot of random luck involved in this quest line. Now, I do want to take a, a quick note here. Uh, there is an area underground right here in Constitution Hall. It doesn't actually have an indicated underground passage there. But if you go to that building, the southeast corner of that building, there's a parking garage. If you go into that underground parking garage, it leads to a tunnel system, and there's a bunch of keys there. You can, go, of course, go to your resources menu and check and see how many keys for each faction that you have. Again, we are looking only for hyena keys. So once you got those keys, you need to open up hyena locked boxes. So I'm going to go to downtown east. In downtown east, you can find the SMG loaded canister. There's two locations in the open world, and then there's one in the nearby mission. So you're going to go to this box. So hopefully you get a loaded canister. I got one. Thankfully, got one there. Uh, there's another open world box as well. If you go just a little further north. And I'm going to show you this location as well. Once you've opened these boxes, the same rule will apply. You cannot reopen it for 24 hours. Again, don't go into another person's game and open their box. So here is a second location of an open world box. Now you can go to the Grand Washington Hotel. There are two hyena boxes here. In this mission, you're going to come down to this hallway. We're trying to reach the roof, but on our way there, we're going to take a little sidetrack, a little detour over here to the left-hand side find a bathroom and there'll be another hyena box so there are four hyena boxes in the downtown east area like, you got a random chance of getting the part that we need for the chatterbox blueprint here i'm actually using the chatterbox if you look at the uh 
the ammo in the center, watch just how it kind of refills itself. That's kind of a cool perk about this gun. Now the second box here in the, the uh, Grand Washington Hotel mission is going to be, uh, once we get outside to, to the roof. So you got to try to get that the SMG loaded canister in one of those four hyena boxes using those hyena keys that we got. You have four chances. If you don't get it, you have to wait 24 hours, unfortunately. Don't use any keys in any other districts uh, outside of the ones I'm going to show you. Downtown East has one part we have to get. Once you've got that part, do not use another key in that area. Once you've got that part, we're going to go to the Federal Triangle. There is two open world areas. First one is here inside this building up on the second floor. And we're going to look for a creative magazine. You get the canister in downtown east. You get the creative magazine here. And then we're going to go to Judiciary Square to get the third and final part. Now there's another open world hyena box just to the uh, next block over to the east. And we have to climb up a ladder here, go down the alley, up this ladder, and at the end here. Now there is one story mission you can do, the Jefferson Trade Center mission. Uh, when you're going through the underground parking garage, at the very end of it, when you finally leave the parking garage, uh, just to the right of the door is another hyena box. So you have three chances to get the creative magazine. Remember, you get the canister in downtown east, you get the creative magazine in Federal Triangle, and you get the modified mods part in Judiciary Square. Once you have one in Judiciary Square, you don't use another hyena key in this area. So here's the open world. We're at the basement of this building, the underground parking garage. Open up that, and you can see we got the modified mods. There's another open world Location in Judiciary Square, just a little north of that previous location, which was the police headquarters building. Here we're going to go down between these two buildings and climb up the ladder. So just to recap, you need to get the hyena keys from the underground areas from those little white boxes. And then you go to each of the districts. Judiciary Square, you're going to get the modified mods. You're going to go to the Federal Triangle and get that one. Go to Downtown East. Don't use any keys any more than you have to. There's Each part is uh, tied to its specific district. You won't get a modified mods part in Federal Triangle, for example. And we just one more ladder to get there. Anything you've opened, again, 24-hour timer on it. So if you run out of things to open, you got to wait until the next day, which is what I had to do, unfortunately. All right, so after you've got all three of those parts, we're going to get the actual Chatterbox blueprint in the bank headquarters main story mission. Now you're going to come across Rebound here, your first boss of this level, and we are going to take him out. He's actually going to drop a key here, a vault encryption key. You need to take that as part of the story. Then what we're going to do is go into the next set of rooms. And there's actually going to be a hidden safe that we're going to access. Through the set of doors to the left hand side. There's a little panel here that we can open. So we're going to open this panel. It's going to give us an RFID key. So take that key card. Now progress to the end. Well, not to the end, but close. Uh, a little bit later on, you're going to go to the vault, finally get to the vault here. We're going to open this code, or use the code, open the door, and then we're going to go and use that RFID key card that we just got and use it to our left over here. And you can see the hyena box right in front of us. You need to have all three parts before you can do this. So don't waste a hyena key on this until after you have the three parts. And then the you can get, the finally, the blueprint. Got a new now, once you have that, the, the hard part's over. All you need to do is go back, back to the uh, White House, go to the crafting table, and you can actually hey, finally craft the gun. Highly recommend you probably wait until you upgrade that crafting be bench to World Tier 4. Get a higher crafting level out of the gun itself. 
And of course, you'll get the silver trophy for crafting an exotic item if it's your first exotic item you've crafted. So there it is. Let you look at the stats again. I want to thank you guys for watching. I know there's a lot here. Uh, read the description. I'll have the information posted there as well. And uh, hit the subscribe button. See you soon.